facts. Below is a list of arrival hidden truth and facts you probably don't know. Director Dennis Villeneuve and screenwriter Eric Heiserer created a fully functioning, visual, alien language. Heiserer, Vermette and their teams managed to create a logogram bible, which included over a hundred different completely operative logograms, 71 of which are actually featured in the movie. Director Dennis Villeneuve and the writing team took extensive efforts to ensure the movie's scientific ideology was accurate. Renowned scientist and tech innovator Stephen Wolfram and his son Christopher Wolfram were consulted to ensure all terminology, graphics and depictions were sound. Ted Chiang, who wrote the novella the film is based upon, approved the film, saying, I think it's the rarest of the rare and that it's both a good movie and a good adaptation. And when you consider the track record of adaptations of written science fiction, that's almost literally a miracle. The Inky Circular Alien Language was created by Montreal artist Martin Bertrand. It is also the artist's son who created Hannah's drawings. While the shape of the ship was decided early on, the director had great difficulty imagining an interior that would allow humans to easily navigate through such a steep and vertical design. The later decision to turn gravity sideways offered an obvious and convenient solution. Dirty sci-fi is what director Dennis Villeneuve and cinematographer Bradford Young called the look they created together for Arrival, 2016. Villeneuve wanted it to feel like this was happening on a bad Tuesday morning, like when you were a kid on the school bus on a rainy day and you dream while looking out the window at the clouds. The original name for the film was Story of Your Life. However, test audiences did not like the title, and therefore, it was changed to Arrival. Octopuses, whales, elephants, and spiders were all sources of inspiration when it came to creating the aliens. Abbott and Costello, director Dennis Villeneuve wanted their design to evoke a very strong presence, an air of intelligence, and the feeling of being close to a huge beast underwater. He also wanted the aliens to feel like something you might imagine in a surreal dream or nightmare and, in the later stages of the film, he wanted them to be suggestive of the Grim Reaper. The film's composer, Johan Johansson, stated he started recording the score before the movie had even started filming, and he and the director liked to work on the music as the director's films are being made. The Hungarian word that Alpern refers to is Salama Tactica. In English, this translates to salami tactics. The word refers to divide the opposition, to only have to face smaller, weaker enemies. The heptapods craft owes its design to an asteroid called 15 Eunomia. During research, director Dennis Villeneuve became attracted to Eunomia's insane shape like a strange egg and thought that kind of pebble or oval shape would bring a perfect sense of menace and mystery to the spacecraft. In the whiteboard shot where Louise writes the big question, immediately above the question is the standard formula for entropy, the arrow of time. Louise tells Colonel Weber that the name kangaroo comes from a misunderstanding and originally meant I don't know, only to tell Ian that the story is made up. This is an actual myth, not just a made-up story that involves Lieutenant James Cook, Sir Joseph Banks, and the Gugoya Mithir language. The myth was debunked in the 1970s by linguist John B. Haviland. In reality, the word kangaroo comes from the aboriginal word gangaroo, the word for specifically grey kangaroos, with Banks spelling it kangaroo in his diary. This movie is based upon the short story Story of Your Life written by Ted Chiang in 1998. This is the third collaboration between composer Johan Johansson and director Dennis Villeneuve. Previously. They worked together on Prisoners, 2013, and Sicario, 2015. Their fourth collaboration is Blade Runner 2049, 2017. Scandinavian photographer Martina Hoogland Ivanow was a major influence on cinematographer Bradford Young's look of this film, especially with her exhibition and book Speedway. In the novella, Stories of Your Life by Ted Chiang, Nine looking glasses arrive in America, a total of 112 worldwide. The film reduces that number and alters the dimensions to more profound effect. As soon as director Dennis Villeneuve finished this film, 
he began work on Blade Runner 2049-2017. The shots inside the university, in class and when she walks through a cafeteria, have been filmed at Tecmor Real University, at the Tassels building. When Ian suggests the names for the heptapods, he is referencing Abbott and Costello's comedy bit Who's on First. As the bit starts, Abbott states who's on first, what's on second, and I don't know is on third, several times. Costello doesn't understand and his questions of which player is on which base are taken as true or false statements needing affirmation or correction. For example who's on second base, no, who's on first, I'm not asking what's the guy on first, what's on second, I don't know the guy's name on second, no, he's on third base, who's on third. No, who's on first, who's on first, yes and so forth. Both Abbott and Costello's bid and arrival show the ease of misunderstanding while communicating. When Dennis Villeneuve finally agreed to direct the movie he said to the film's screenwriter, Eric Heisserer, All right Eric, now we are married. Filming began in mid-June 2015, right after Jeremy Renner completed the shooting of Captain America, Civil War. 2016. Amy Adams revealed in an interview with the New York Times that she did not know Mandarin prior to filming the movie. Principal photography on the film began on June 7, 2015 in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. This is director Denis Villeneuve's first PG-13 feature film. The helmets worn are respiratory protection units manufactured by Sundstrom which are widely used in industry. Three of the locations that the alien spaceships land on Earth include the U.S. state of Montana, the United Kingdom, and Russia. These are some of the locations that the alien tripods landed in John Christopher's 1988 novel When the Tripods Came, which is the prequel to his Tripods novel trilogy. This movie reunites American Hustle, 2013, co-stars Jeremy Renner and Amy Adams. The siren emitted throughout the movie signaling the scientists' preparation to approach the ship is identical to the siren used in The Purge, 2013, and its sequels. The two main aliens in this movie are called Abbott and Costello, the exactly same names as the aliens from the episode Hounds of Baskerville from the BBC show, Sherlock, 2010. Nick Matthew was previously attached to direct. Amy Adams' middle name is Lou, which stands for Louis or Louise. She played Lois in Man of Steel and Batman v Superman, and Louise in Arrival. Amy Adams and Jeremy Renner have both appeared in comic book films dealing with alien invasions. Adams starred in Man of Steel, 2013, about Earth being invaded by evil Kryptonians. Renner starred in Avengers Assemble, 2012 about Earth being invaded by the aliens known as Chitori. In the underlying short story, the physicist is named Gary Donnelly, contrary to Ian Donnelly in the movie, the name change, together with Louise Banks' name, could be a nod in laudation to the British science fiction author Ian Banks. Spoilers. The trivia items below may give away important plot points, in the first drafts of the script. The gifts to humanity were meant to be different pieces of technology given to each landing site, with the U.S. receiving plans for a spaceship capable of faster-than-light travel, China receiving a design that revolutionizes life support, Peru getting the key to manipulating gravity, Japan receiving a way of creating water from air, Britain receiving the formula to build a composite hull that is impervious to cosmic radiation, and Saudi Arabia getting celestial coordinates. However, this was all changed when Dennis Villeneuve saw Interstellar, 2014, and told the screenwriter to change the gifts to something else, in order to avoid similarities between the two films. What General Shuang whispers to Louise is, in war, there are no winners, only widows. The original drafts of the script did not have anything specifically written for the final part of exchange between General Shuang and Louise, before filming. Derek Tordon as Villeneuve asked Eric Heiserer to write a line that would save the world for the final part of the exchange, spoken in Mandarin. 
Heiser or Seti spent weeks perfecting the final line between Louise and General Shang only to find that Villeneuve removed the subtitles for the scene in the final cut. The violin melody in the last sequence is palindromic. The reason the ships never touch land is explained by production designer Patrice Fermat, stating, the twelve identical ships would travel across the universe and end the journey by hovering twenty, eight feet above the ground in delicate equilibrium, leaving it to Earth's people to make the final outreach to contact them. Near the end of the film, Ian calls Hannah Starstop, a reference to Carl Sagan's Cosmos, A Person Voyage, 1980, in which Sagan states, the nitrogen in our DNA, the calcium in our teeth, the iron in our blood, the carbon in our apple pies were made in the interiors of collapsing stars. We are made of star stuff. Sagan also wrote Contact, 1997, which was also a story of extraterrestrial communication. In the source novella, The Story of Your Life by Ted Jiang, Hannah dies of 25, in an accident on a mountain. That means that Louise knows well in advance of her death from something seemingly avoidable but has come to accept its inevitability, which lends a far darker tone to the story. When Louise's daughter questions the reason for her name, Hannah, Louise explains that her name is a palindrome, that is, it is spelled the same backwards as it is forward. This reflects the theme of the film in that the story starts as it finishes, due to the story's events existing in a nonlinear timeline. The opening few scenes of the film are simultaneously the beginning and the end as is the case with the order of letters that make up Hannah's name. In a shot of the alien language being transformed, lines of programming language code are shown with the animation. Stephen Wolfram states in his blog that this code is written in Wolfram language, and that it actually does perform the transformation depicted. The written language used by the heptapods is most probably inspired by the Enso a calligraphic symbol from Zen Buddhism which expresses a moment when the mind is free to let the body create and symbolize his absolute enlightenment, strength, elegance, the universe, and mu, the void, dot. In the final scene at Louise's home, the silhouette of the hanging lamp against the sky in the background invokes the same imagery of the oval-shaped alien prods hovering in the sky. The bird in the cage is used to test if the alien's atmosphere is safe. Miners have done this for centuries, which is where the phrase canary in a coal mine comes from. The earring worn by Louise with her gown is very similar to a nautilus shell. It's an ancient living fossil with tentacles that is often associated with the golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence mentioned in the film, and pi, a mathematical wonder as it's an endless number. They're considered keys for understanding the universe. The Arrival Facts and Truths